What's up, y'all, and welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. Hope you're having an amazing day out there so far. Today, we are back checking out the insanely talented Eric Grunwall. He blew us away with his cover of I Will Always Love You, and today he's covering one of my favorite bands, Journey, and the song Faithfully. The Journey Greatest Hits live album lived on repeat in my house. It was a huge part of me growing up as a child and a teenager and an influence on me musically. Steve Perry, arguably one of the greatest singers of all time, maybe the best singer of all time. So he's got his work cut out for him, but I'm sure that Eric Gronwall is up to the task. I'm excited to see his take on this one. But before we get into it, a few ways you guys can continue to support the channel. Right down below, if you haven't already, you can hit that subscribe button. It's an easy and free way to show some love. You can also head on over to Patreon and become a member there. If that doesn't work for you, right here on YouTube, you can become a channel member. Both of those are going to get you access to priority requests, as well as other perks and features. And then as always, with a one-time donation through Buy Me A Coffee, you can get a guaranteed request either Steven or I will check out right here on the channel. Never expected, but always appreciated. All right, y'all, let's get into it. All right, folks, here we go. Eric Gronwall with his cover of Faithfully by Journey. I'm super excited to hear his take on it, so let's jump in. Whew. Such an iconic piano. Great, man. Restless hearts sleep alone tonight. Sending all my love along the wire. Hey, that grit, he can't help himself, man. It just sneaks out sometimes. His voice is so powerful. And he's doing an awesome job covering this. Like he's honoring the song well, um, but he still sounds like himself and he's got his own flair on it, which I love. I love this dude's voice, the grit and just the power behind it. Sometimes when he gets going, it sounds like his voice is just going to just explode. And I, I just love the energy. He's crushing this. They say song man <laughs> faithfully drums Ooh. such a good drum Set intro Man, he, hey, first of all, the dude nailed that guitar lick. That was that was clean. Sounds great. The sustain on it though was wild. It just kept going. It was just going and going until he like cut it off. Oh my goodness. I gotta hear that again. That was such a good interpretation of that guitar lick. And that, that guitar lick is like you don't really want to mess with uh mess with perfection, right? That's it. That was a, a perfect, perfect little filler lick. Um, that was in that song originally. He did a great job. The sustain, man. He's got so much gain on there. It's that that '80s shredder, you know, power ballad tone, which I love. You know, just kind of lends itself to that. And man, 
he is he's killing the vocals on this dude like I don't know there, there's something about like the timbre of his voice and just the overall it's just like it's just like so raw and like gritty um it's it's totally different right Steve Perry's voice was known for being like super smooth and super pure um and he could he had a ton of power behind his voice but he didn't necessarily have this kind of grit um and so it's almost just like a completely different flavor of the song I mean you know pitch wise dude's on it he's crushing it he's honoring the melody well this this just overall this is fantastic I want to hear that guitar lick again though I love this too, like just the real simple production. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of dudes that are doing stuff like this. Um, and there's no, I mean, honestly, there's no reason not to. It works. It's really simple and it looks good. Like black shirt, a couple of lights against a black backdrop. He's clearly got some haze going on. It's a good look for this style of stuff. And these dudes, you know, you know, this guy and then Dan Vask, you know, they're they're all doing somewhat similar production style things. But it looks so good. You wouldn't think something so simple could look this clean, but it, it really does. Everything about this is good. The production quality of the mix, the videography, the talent of the people playing and singing is just, man, this is a great group of folks right here. Just to make a smile. This is good, man. I uh, I love how the grit just keeps sneaking out in little parts. I feel like he's just going to unleash later on and really just just get after it. And I, I can't wait to hear it. I'm also excited to hear. I hope that he does this guitar solo coming up. It's such a uh, such an iconic solo, man. I, I love it. Great. The dude's got great tone. He's got great feel. He's really doing a great job covering this uh, from the guitar perspective. And whoever mixed this nailed like the 80s drum sound. The snare has a little more crack to it, I think, than maybe they did in the 80s. Um, but, you know, I love that. But, yeah, it, they, they drum sound, like the whole production, it sounds, you know, very reminiscent of like the 80s stuff, um, you know, around the time period that this came out. And uh, but then at the same time, it also sounds super polished and modern. So I don't really know necessarily how they did it. But whoever mixed this did a fantastic job. The vocal effects, too. There's a lot of them on there. There's a ton of reverb and delay on his voice, but his voice is still projecting out. It's really at the forefront. So there's probably like some ducking stuff with the delay and maybe, you know, a lot of pre-delay on the vocal reverb that's really allowing his vocal to shine through. And then those effects kind of come in and bloom afterwards, which is super cool because you want the vocal to shine in a song like this. I mean, it's his video. He's the one covering it and his voice is killer. You definitely don't want to cover it up with effects for sure. Woo. All right. Let's take it back so we can hear this instrumental section.
That's a heck of a song, man. A heck of a song. I actually want to roll it back and hear him do that guitar solo again because he, a, he was killer. And then those vocal ad libs at the end as well were fantastic. Uh, let me see if I can take it back far enough. Hey, these dudes, these dudes are wild. I'm interested to see who did all the production and playing. Um, the guy playing piano and the guy playing the guitar, they look like they have a similar tattoos on their right arm. So maybe the same guy. Um, I'm not really for sure, but he's a, his tone is spot on his playing spot on. And then obviously, you know, the vocals are just out of this world. Good man. You know, it's not really fair to draw comparisons and be like, Oh, well, Steve Perry or Eric Grunwald, or, you know, it, it's not even necessarily a matter of who did it better. It's two totally different flavors of the same song. And I love both. Um, you know, I love the original. I love Steve Perry, but man, Eric Wall's just done a fantastic job of covering this and really kind of bringing some more like gritty rock sound to it that just, you know, just another angle. And I, I just love the song, honestly. And when it's done well, it don't even matter to me. It's just a good song. Well, let's check out the end of this again, man. The solo and the, the vocal stuff at the end was just, man, definitely worth a repeat listen. He didn't pick any of that. That was fire, man. Mm. Man. Hey, that, that was too good, dude. They absolutely crushed that. Um, one of the things I'm noticing about this dude as well is like the vocal control that he has with his vibrato, like n the musical sense to know when to sing straight and when to use vibrato and do it in like a musical way. Um, stuff like that always baffles me with singers. Like, you know, it's one thing to be able to control that kind of stuff on an instrument. Like I'm playing guitar. Do I want to just hold the note? Do I want to do some vibrato? How fast do I want to do it? And I can control it with my hands, but people that can do that and have that kind of sense and control with their voice, man. And I'm not a singer, so I don't know how difficult that is, but it really impresses me for what that's worth. All right, y'all. Another killer cover and performance by Eric Gronwall. This dude is insane. I love his voice. I love the style of videos that he's doing, the songs that he's choosing to cover. Um, it really highlights how freaking good of a singer he really is. He's out of this world. Um, you know, the, you know, I love singers with grit in their voice. Steven's kind of the same way. And this dude, he's got the freaking power, man. Just, belting for days and his pitch is good like i said his vibrato is good he's got musical common sense of how to use his voice in the best way for where he's at in a song or for an individual song it's just it's really baffling man people that can control their voices like that they just i don't know it's really impressive to me and this dude shoot he's up there man what an incredibly talented musician and singer all right, y'all, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. So every time we drop new content, you guys can be made aware. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.